Hello everyone, uh, let's talk about complex binomials and we will use a problem from ISI entrance to do exactly that. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. My name is Oshuni Dajgupto. I'm one of the faculty members at Chinta. I'm extremely interested in geometry. You can go to Chinta.com to find out more about other faculty members at Chinta. Okay, let's uh, look into this problem. We have this expression 1 plus z raised to the power n and the problem says that it's equal to a0 plus a1z plus a2z square up to a n z to the power n. The numbers in red, these numbers are all real numbers. Okay. This is a given data. Now we want to find out the value of this complicated looking expressions. This is, this is what we, this is our goal. This is what we want to find out. So a0 minus a2 plus a4 minus a6 so on square plus a1 minus a3 plus a5 minus a7 so on square. Somehow this even index and odd index game is happening in this expression. It's quite interesting in that sense. So how do we go about it? Well, let's go back to the expression that was supplied to us. So 1 plus z to the power n equal to this a0 plus a1z, a2z square and so on. So this is already given to us. We will replace every z by the imaginary number i. So replace z by i. This is a trick that will help us greatly to solve this problem. And how we will see in a moment. So replace z by i, here i is square root of minus 1. And let's see what happens. So notice that i squared is minus 1, i cube is negative i and so on. So if we simplify it, we get this 1 plus i raised to the power n equals to a0 plus a1i minus a2 minus a3i and so on. We will come back to this expression in a moment, but let me briefly tell you about the work that we are doing at Chinta. It's extremely interesting and I find it extremely exciting as well. We have one-to-one -one classes for every student. I have never seen this in any other place. Uh, this is personalizing the program, the advanced mathematics programs for every student. And then we also have the group classes. So together, they make an excellent all-round uh, offering for every candidate. The faculty members and students at Chinta are extremely interested in mathematics. You can go, go to chinta.com and find out more about them. Let's come back to the problem. We have this 1 plus i raised to the power n. This is equal to a0 plus a1i minus a2 minus a3i plus so on. So this we already found out we will be looking at the real part and the imaginary part of this expression. So what is the real part? The real part is everything that is without i. And the imaginary part is everything that is with i. Without i and with i. So it's like this. So the real part is a0 minus a2 plus a4 minus a6 and so on. And the imaginary part is a1 minus a3 plus a5 minus a7 and so on. You see this odd even game that the problem was sort of playing with us, that is back. We have differentiated the even indices and the odd indices. So we are doing something right. Let's square both of these objects. So the real part square plus the imaginary part square is precisely what we want to find out. It's a0 minus a2 plus so on square plus a1 minus a3 plus so on square. So this is exactly what the problem asks us to find out. So we now understand that the problem is indirectly telling us to find out the real part of 1 plus i raised to the power n square plus imaginary part of 1 plus i raised to the power n square. It's telling us 
to do this in a sort of roundabout way okay okay so how, how do we do this there are a number of ways of doing this to find the real part square plus the imaginary part square but we will do it in sort of a visual manner so notice that the real part square plus the imaginary part square is the square of the distance of the complex number from the origin that's the geometric interpretation of it right so you take the square of the real part you take the square of the imaginary part what you have is square of the distance from the center 0 0 0, 0 comma 0 point so let's draw a picture so we have this x-axis and y-axis let's mark the point 1 the complex number 1 or you can also say this is 1 comma 0 and this is the complex number i which is basically 0 comma 1 so we have this 1 plus i this complex number 1 plus i and now we can use simple Pythagoras theorem to find out the distance of 1 plus i from the origin which is square root of 2 okay so the distance of 1 plus i from the origin is square root of 2 that's you can also find this using a non-geometric method but uh, geometry is fun i kind of like it so i'm using a little bit uh, sort of a long route to reach this conclusion so if i raise one plus i to the power n the distance that's also a complex number one plus i to the power n is also a complex number the distance is also raised to the power n so this is a very powerful property of complex exponentiation that if you raise the complex number to the power n its distance from origin is also raised to the power n so you have to attend a course on complex numbers for mathematics olympiad to really understand what's going on here now what what if we want to find out square of the distance of 1 plus i to the power n from the origin well that's square of root 2 to the power n and that gives us the final answer which is simply 2 to the power n right so this problem involves both algebraic manipulation as well as some geometric intuition it's a very beautiful problem keep on doing great mathematics um, subscribe to Chinta's YouTube channel and also visit Chinta.com for more beautiful content on mathematics. Uh, we have a community of mathematicians who are waiting to meet you and learn from you as well and teach you of course. Alright, take care.